I'm with Derek Fisher here at Elite Baseball at Mount Joy, and he's taking the time to uh, speak with us. I appreciate your time, Derek. Uh, this is summer for you, so what kind of a schedule do you have uh, in the off season? You're just coming off Cape Cod League, so what have you been doing now to stay in shape? Um, you know, the Cape Cod League is obviously a, a long and uh, grueling time up there when you're playing every day. Um, you know, so I come home, come in here with Knox, uh, you know, hit, you know, work out a little bit. You know, I try and keep it moderate to the point where, you know, because I play in a college season and uh, obviously going through the Cape, so Cape Cod season, your body, you know, takes a toll on your body. So, um, you know, about three days a week, I'll work out and then hit and uh, basically just, you know, keep the body going. Okay, now when you were Cedar Crest in 2010, did they, uh, did you guys play in the finals with the Ephrata LL League title? Was that you? Cedar yeah. Crest? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ephrata did win that. That was, so what's the, what was it, falling on the heels of that, what was the transition to play uh, college baseball? You know, college baseball was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, it's uh, it, the speed of the game is something that's that not many people really understand. Um, the speed of the game and, and basically just what hard work was. You know, I thought in high school I worked hard. Um, you know, I thought I, you know, put in the work, but uh, you know, I really didn't. When I showed up at school, uh, you, you got to do stuff every day. Um, you're, you're getting ready for a season that's longer than any, any season you've ever played. Um, so I'd say the, the jump from college baseball and high school baseball is, uh, is a lot more than what people actually think. How about the pitching you faced? Better than I've ever seen. You know, you, uh, you play weekend series and midweek series, uh, you're facing the best pitchers in the country. And, um, you know, credit to that, you, you've got to prepare for that. And uh, you can't just show up and hit these guys. Uh, What's the biggest difference, fastball changeup? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think changeup's the best pitch in baseball. Good. Um, how did you handle the BB core bats? Uh, you know, I, I think they're 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 fine. Uh, you know, a lot of people think that it's it's really going to change the game, and uh, with certain parks like TD Ameritrade, you can really really see it. But uh, you know, guys have proved that you know you can still hit the ball out of the yard with uh, with a BB core bat and still hit balls hard. So you know, I think it's. I think it's all right. Uh, the new balls, I think they're thinking about coming out with, would uh, would make a, a big difference as well. What advice would you give high school ball players who uh, dream of playing the big leagues or getting drafted? And they have the talent, but uh, maybe not the confidence. Well, you know, what would you say to them? Yeah, I mean, just start good habits. Uh, habits is a big thing in high school because obviously there's a lot of kids that can play the game of baseball, and there's all there always will be um, the guys that make it and the guys that you know play college baseball and. Obviously, I don't know much about professional baseball, but um, you know when, when and if you ever get there, I think habits is the biggest thing to start in high school because if you start good habits and start good work habits, it's always gonna it's gonna last you forever. Okay, in a recent um, survey, you're ranked like the 15th best college prospect player. Uh, so, are you already hearing from teams for the um, June draft? You know, yes and no, but uh, yeah, that's something that you can't really pay attention to at this time in the year. Um, you know, fortunately, going through it in high school, you really understand that that stuff honestly means nothing. And um, you know, when it, what it really comes down to is uh, just simply playing the game, playing the game you've always played. And uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. Um, you've done very well in, high, in college. You've had seven home runs back to back years. You're in the high two eighties. Uh, defensively, is that a big challenge for you? Is that something you've had to work on? Uh, you're playing center field now, right? No, oh, le oh, left field. Okay, left field. So a big difference there. Yeah, I mean. Uh, you you just, it's something I've always worked at, you know, being able to hit and, and, and just play the game is, is something that you can, you, you just do. And, uh, you know, defensively it's something I've always worked at and something I always will work at. And, uh, you know, for that matter, it's, it's something that you can never really be too good at. Is there a team you, uh, I understand you're a Yankee fan. I was doing some research on you. Are you still a Yankees fan? Yeah, yeah. I've so if they drafted you, fan. you'd be stunned? No, I mean, yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, honestly, it, what it comes down to is just when I was, you know, just growing up, uh, you know, Derek Jeter was always my, my favorite player. And, uh, you know, I think it was more so because of the same first name as me. But, uh, you know. Speaking just, of same names, Derek Fisher and the Lakers. Uh, <laughs> does he ever get any uh, harassment on that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's guys that'll, uh, not many people really notice it, but uh, you know, people that do, Those they know, definitely yeah, bring yeah. it up right away. Yeah. Uh, here's a question. Now, do you follow the guys who decided not to go to college, like the Jankowskis, the Gallagher's? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Of and course. And so, what's your thoughts me on that? Me and Cameron were always uh, pretty close in high school. We always worked out together, and uh, Jankowski was somebody that I had actually hit with up here when I was real young. Um, but no, I mean, obviously, you know, their their decisions, and and obviously, what Travis did at Stony Brook was was unbelievable. And uh, Cameron, obviously, you know, definitely. Uh, you know, getting drafted where he did and, and playing where he is, and, and he's doing well. And, uh, you know, I wish him all the best. I haven't talked to him in a bit, but, mm -hmm. um, you know. Bianchi's done well, too. Yeah, and he, and was, always, he was always a guy that I uh, worked out with and hit with, and, uh, you know, I was always pretty close with. That's great. Derek, thank you very much for your time, and I appreciate it. You're very well. Good luck this season. Thank you.